Good morning. It's good to see you this morning and welcome. Um, welcome to our Columbia home. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina right now at, at, at our home with um, my wife, Debbie, this day and coming back Saturday night to home in, Bur in, uh, in the Birmingham Clay Trustful area, helping Debbie um, prepare for our major move to to Clay um, that will begin April 19th, but I'm here today to prepare some of the house uh, for that move. And then tomorrow, Debbie and I are going to North Carolina to be with my 93-year-old father, Jim Steyerwald, and uh, to visit with him. I'll be coming back Saturday night and looking forward to leading you in worship on Sunday morning. If you're streaming with us, this is Table Talks with Pastor John Steyerwald. I'm the pastor of Faith Lutheran Church in Clay, Alabama. And come on and be with us every weekday morning. We try to come at 10 o'clock. Today we were delayed a little bit. Um, our Facebook handle is uh, Faith Lutheran Clay. So come to that, mark that, like it, and you'll get notifications and uh, enjoy our time together as we read scripture, as we pray, and as we discuss. We're reading from the three-year common lectionary. Today we'll read from the Psalms and we'll talk about the home devotion and prayer technique that I'm recommending for so many families and individuals called Faith Five. So this last week, we have been going through one of the five steps each of the Faith Five process. And today we'll end up with the last part of the Faith Five process, the blessing segment. So Faith Five is a five-step Bible reading, devotion, and prayer process you can use every evening, every day with a colleague, with a friend, with a family member. This is especially good moms and dads and grandparents to teach the children. The steps are share, read, talk, pray, and bless. And today we're going to talk about the bless portion of, of, of this. When you have finished sharing your highs and lows, and then as you have read a passage that the group has selected, whether that's a passage from the lectionary or whether it is a favorite passage from one of the children or, or one of your group members, then move to talk, talk openly, plainly about what you've discovered as you've read. Pray honestly, openly, and very simply over how God may move you through that reading. And then finally, bless one another. Well, there are so many different ways to bless one another. The most common way to bless is to anoint another person. You know, when the people of the Old Testament anointed, they were anointing great leaders. And the, uh, the Hebrew for that word was simply the word used now for Messiah, anointed one. And the Greek of that used commonly in the New Testament for anointed one was Christos, the word for Christ. When we anoint one another, we're saying that we are people who embody Christ's message. We are saying that we are marking that person as a person with the capacity to lead and to be a, a very special marked person. And so uh, I used to tell my confirmation students that anointed one was another way of saying you, you have an oily head. So we anoint one another. Anointing with oil is a simple method in the church. Oftentimes we'll anoint marking the sign of the cross on a forehead or on the palm of a hand or the back of a hand. Families, uh, uh, this is a time that this anointing is a simple measure for you that's safe even during a pandemic time. Uh, there are other ways to anoint one another. Anointing without touching as a way of making a sign of a cross before one another. Sign of a cross is simply a way that we uh, Christians can say that we're remembering our baptism. So at the end of your sharing time, your highs and your lows, your reading, your talking, your praying, bless one another. Bless your children, bless your parents. This is a wonderful opportunity. When we're able to come back together for worship in a safe way, I always enjoy inviting the youth and the children of the church to stand by the communion assistance and as people receive their bread and the wine and as they head back to their seats, a child can anoint a communicant, marking them with the sign of a cross with oil. 
bless one another and be a blessing to one another. Um, just a couple of sharings. Again, council will meet Tuesday. We are such a blessed congregation with so many blessed leaders at faith. Worship is at 1030 and we invite you to worship. Invite your friends. Everyone make an effort to invite one another to the 1030 streaming service from, um, from the sanctuary. Remember to prepare your home altar. And here is what I'd like to challenge you to do. As we're making home altars, I want to invite you to take a picture of your home altar and send those in. You can send them to me, you can send them to the church, and we'd love to post your pictures of home altars. Again, there is an instruction video for making your home altar, a very creative enterprise. Uh, and and uh, we'd love to have your pictures of your home altar with your plate. And, and, and your cup of wine prepared. So do that, send that in, and let's populate uh, the Facebook page with images of your home altars. We'll offer the gift of Eucharist, of course, this Sunday, as we will uh, all forthcoming Sunday. So uh, just the sharing there. Also a reminder of story time with Pastor John, which comes up to you on Wednesdays. Look for that email link with the YouTube video. Well, those are just some of the sharings uh, as we gather together. We're reading from Psalms today, and then we'll close with prayer. And today, the Revised Common Lectionary suggests that we read 133. We read this yesterday, but I think it's especially important that we read it again today because it speaks about blessings. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It's like the precious oil upon the head running down upon the beard upon the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, the blessing for life forevermore. Let's pray together. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Dear God, remind us that we are blessings for one another. Help us not only to bless one another, but to give thanks that you have blessed us. Your love, your devotion, and your, and your mercy fall on us every day like rich rain. Help us discover ways to help one another, to bless one another, and have mercy for one another. Be with us as we develop ways to pray and read each day, and help us to see how the Word itself can guide us every day. Make our eyes open and reveal our hearts so we can see in all of the moments of our days examples of your mercy coming to us through individuals and through events. Dear God, we ask that you would protect those who are caregivers, especially in this pandemic. Strengthen those who are sick. Protect the elderly and those in nursing homes Bless those who mourn the death of loved ones, protect first-line workers, and also, O oh God, hear the prayers that we each offer now. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. It's great being with you again. I look forward to seeing you Sunday morning at 9.30. Come to us at our Facebook handle, Faith Lutheran Clay. God bless.